Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I'm going to do some relaxing pencil coloring today. I'm going to use the Studio Katya stamp set that is called Whimsical Town, and these look like Dr. Seuss houses. They're so fun. Sentiments are more like neighbor type of cards, but there's also like hello and thanks and stuff in it. I'm going to use my luminance colored pencils for this, and yes, there is a luminance chart. There's also a Prismacolor and a Polychromos. And I waited to do the charts until I could do all three because I knew I would be eaten alive by those who were loyal to the other brands if I only did one of them. So I've been saving my nickels and I now have full sets of them. And if you're wondering why I'm not doing every other set, I've been getting lots of emails. Please do brand X. I can't afford to buy them all. And so that is why you're not getting them all. And there's no watercolor pencils or watercolor hex charts for either either of them for anything that's water-based because you can't print them out on a printer. There's no waterproof ink that comes out of your little home printers. But I do have some ideas for solutions for that someday. I just have to figure out how to get about go about doing it. And that'll take some time. So be patient. And in the meantime, go enjoy your hex charts for your colored pencils and for your Copic markers. For the coloring for this one, I went to my hex chart and just picked out all the analogous colors. So all the greens, the blues, and the blue greens, and put them in a cup and just started having at it. And sometimes we stress ourselves out so much about the shading and making sure everything's blended right and blah, 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 that we lose the joy of just coloring, just making, just doing pretty colors and calling it done. And this was so relaxing for me, I can't even tell you, because I put so much pressure on myself to have great lessons to teach when I do a video. I'm going to teach you something, and it's really hard to come up with that all the time. So it's really nice once in a while to just color for fun, and that's what I'm doing here. To do the stamping, I stamped every other house first, and then set up in my Misty every other house to go in between them. And I just used a little tiny piece of a sticky note on some of the corners of the houses where they crisscrossed. But you technically could probably use an opaque pencil to cover up anywhere where those lines crisscross and make it a little simpler on yourself because some colored pencils are opaque. And you know how you know that? You print your hex chart onto black cardstock and you swatch them out because if you do that, you'll find that there are some colors that sit up really nicely on that black paper and they're really bright. And you can see they have like a lot of light content in them. Other colors sink right into the paper and they practically disappear. You can hardly tell there's any pigment there. And those are transparent. The brighter colors are the ones that are opaque. And they're likely, if you have a place where you're stamping over top of something accidentally, something like that, you can fix that often by using a little bit of an opaque color to make sure that you cover that up. But I didn't do that. I did masking. <laughs> I didn't mask out the full houses. I just masked out little corners that I thought were gonna touch each other. And I kept it relatively simple in that way. But if you're somebody who doesn't wanna keep it simple, you wanna learn more. You wanna learn to shade. You wanna learn color theory. You wanna learn a bunch of blending techniques, and I mean a whole bunch. If you wanna learn how to use a tea strainer when you're doing your coloring, yes, I just said a tea strainer, then you're going to want to check out the Colored Pencil Jumpstart class because there is one now over at art-classes.com, link in the doobly-doo, and you can learn how to do lots of cool blending techniques and things that you never thought colored pencils could do, and you're going to be real excited about it because I'm excited about the class. It was so much fun to film and it is finally all live and available and ready for you to learn. So please feel free to go over there and check it out. There are a few stamps from Purple Onion that you may wish to get. You don't have to. You can actually do the blending techniques with stamps you have, most likely. But if you want to follow along, there are some recommended stamps that I've done two projects with for each one in the class. And then there are some that are optional and there's one project for each in the class. 
And there are also some things for artists that are not even stamps at all. You just draw something. So you're going to get all kinds of projects in the class and it's going to be a lot of fun. So just about done with my coloring here. Got all my blues and my greens and my blue greens. And man, that was just so relaxing and fun. I put a black strip of cardstock at the bottom with a little white line drawn with a pen to make it a road. And layered it up on some card base and a little piece of black cardstock. Done, 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 and done. I will see you over in class or over on the blog if you need a hex chart. And I hope you have a really awesome day. Take care. Bye bye now.